Hi everyone! Did you know that from the discussion tab of your educator admin or dashboard, you can actually edit or further customize a group that you've created? It doesn't matter what type of group it is. It could be a public group. It could be a private group that requires student usernames to access or a private group that requires student emails to access or join the group. Either way, what you're going to do is log in to Flipgrid with your educator account, click on the discussion tab, and click on groups. Find the group that you wish to edit or further customize, and simply click the pencil icon here to the very far right. Whenever you see a pencil icon, that usually means edit. Notice that once I click that pencil icon, I'm in the edit group window where I can modify my group settings. I can change the details of the group, including changing the group name. I can customize that join code if I didn't do so at first. I can even change how students access or join the group and I can change it from a private group to a public group as well. Notice that if I do invite a guest into the group, I could turn on the guest password. Again, if you're interested in learning more about when it's acceptable to bring a guest or parents into a group, please see the guest access section on the MTech Flipgrid Resource Center. If I keep scrolling down, Notice that I have more features that I can edit or customize. For example, if I'm planning ahead, I do not need this group to be activated. I could actually change it to hidden. Notice that I can turn on group followers. This allows students to receive email notifications when new topics are created and new videos are recorded. If I don't want my students receiving all those emails, I can just leave that switch toggled off. And I also have the ability to personalize my group by changing its cover. Notice that if I scroll all the way down, I can see some incredible featured covers as well as nature, people, or textures. Once I've selected a new cover, I can preview it above, or if I want to create my own custom banners, I can always create a banner as a JPEG or a PNG. And then I can go ahead and upload that file here. Once I have updated or further customized any settings of my group, I can simply click update group and those new settings will be applied. 